I think we decided to do the responsible thing and get a motel rather than pull up to this place not knowing if they have a gate or not to find out they do and it's two o'clock in the morning and we're that tired having to find a way to set up motel six it is we're gonna hit up Curtis Creek in the morning well that's our room but we don't have any parking over here so we have to find ourselves some parking mm hmm how's that pizza mm-hmm Good night. Well, good morning folks. Today is Monday. We're headed to Purtis Creek State Park. We got a decent night's sleep last night in this Motel 6, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It's probably one of the dirtiest, dingiest Motel 6s I've ever experienced. I 100% agree with that statement. But we're not here to complain, except for the guy that was singing and yelling outside of our window at 8.30 this morning. Oh boy. Apparently he works here as the maintenance guy. On to the road, well, coffee. Ooh coffee cheers solved the coffee issue free coffee here at the motel the lady inside was really nice didn't bother complaining about the guy that works here that was screaming out our window because we're just moving on Purtis Creek onward Might have to delay the adventure for a second because we found a really cool spot to pull off at a picnic area. Now I'm gonna take this box and open it up. And then go Well, we have Tums if you need some. <laughs> I'm gonna fly the drone for a second because it looks pretty cool out here. <laughs> Back on the road. On to the campings. Once you get off I-35 out of Waco and you get on 31, you start heading east, northeast. It gets beautiful well, besides the big butt on that dually right there. But hey, a lot of people in Texas drive those. You can't knock them. They're badass. We're in. Now we got to get a bag of ice. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. No problem, have a good day. You too. That was nice. We forgot our ice. We went to the truck and she came and brought it out to us. Customer service that cannot be matched. The staff and our interaction with the staff has a profound effect on how much fun we end up having. And sometimes it has an effect on if we even stay at the park. 
Oh, we picked up an animal. Can we keep him? Looks like we got to. Cost me $12. Minus 10. Outrageous. One cool thing they've been doing lately in these state parks is getting you like a little vending machine for firewood. It's extremely easy to use. You just bring your credit card, basically like you're getting a bag of chips, open the locker, take your wood, and it's a good amount too. Well, looky there. We got ourselves a really cool campsite. It's got a trail that leads out of the back of it right down to this. I do believe it goes all the way around the lake too, this little trail. It's official. We're camping. All right. Hey, what'd you got on your head? A spider. That's a cool hat. Where'd you find that? Athens. <laughs> you act like there's like stuff in there or something. Whew, there's a lot of stuff in there. Ice, ice. Scallops. Baby. Testing out another $2.50 investment over there. Awesome. Wow. So there's a carabiner on the bottom and a magnet. It's also weatherproof. Well, I'm not proud of it, but that splooge of water on the ground there is a direct result of my negligence. That is my water hose, and I had it squished under the backpack and all my water drained out. But that's okay, I've got my backpack loaded with water bottles and my hydro flask loaded with water as well. Oh, in the midst of your fidgeting, did you find out that you forgot you had your knife? Yeah. See, that is awesome. I got that in Florida. The closest thing you can get to protecting yourself without having to wet, having a actual weapon? Red pepper. Yuck. All right, so you remember when you used to have to use your shoe to get your football or your basketball or whatever it was out of the tree? Well, we're flipping those rolls today. I've got to use this football to get my raincoat out of the tree because Melody wasn't quick enough to catch it before it got stuck up there. You mean tall enough? <laughs> Let's see if two years as a Pop Warner football and seventh grade quarterback pays off. It's up there pretty good. The little loop wrapped around that branch. We're gonna have to fashion something tall enough to pry that off. Since I failed, we might have to grab All some. Right, I need something to stand on. <laughs> we took the pole from our A-frame cooking stand and we'll see if she can pry it off with that stick. How does it twist it around? It's like a marmot like a pinata. pinata. <laughs> <laughs> I want my candy. As you can see, we're making very, very little progress. Oh! Good did job! <laughs> did you get hurt? I did. You, got, you, you sacrificed yourself for my marmot rain jacket. It was worth it. Hey now, what part of hiking did you not understand? Within the first 20 seconds of hiking this trail, we've already lost the trail. This place is awesome. If you can lose the trail that easily in a state park, you're in a cool state park. Oh 
always nice to have some help from my hiking partner. Sometimes we carry each other's stuff. That's true. That is very true. Sometimes we carry each other. We carry each other through life. That's right. Life is hard. Life is hard for us. I don't know. We just always end up running into these complicated issues and these massive obstacles in our lives. But we always have teddy bears to make it better. He looks petrified. It's only because of what he's seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he was in the car during the accident. <laughs> Actually. He was in the door. No, he wasn't in the door. It was my other stuffed animals that were in the door. <laughs> What's the name of this place? Pardis Creek State Park. Yep, it's pretty badass actually party yeah <laughs> we got the camera we have the lake we're sitting inside some type of wildlife fishing blind we're having a great day it's beautiful outside there's a little bit of clouds a little bit of blue you got a new hat I did nine dollars at a gas station mm -hmm. and it's probably my favorite hat in the world <laughs> and it's not even mine it's a little girly with that design I don't know that I'd wear it unless it had something more like spiky here Anyway, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. No, it's closer to 5. Almost 5, yeah. The sun will be going down in that direction. We're only 0.2 miles into this trail. But hey, we're outside. What are you doing? So that place we just stopped at was probably more of a fishing spot than a hiking trail. There's the moon. Already? Yeah. Cool. That'll make for great pictures then. Yeah, it'll light up the ground. Yeah. For sure. Either way, it's a positive. Either stars Woo! or great light for pictures. When you know as little about how to actually do this stuff for real like we do, you get excited <laughs> when you think the settings are correct and you think your situation is right and your environment is all perfectly set up. You go out, you do your best, you try to capture some photos, some audio. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you win. Ooh, that's a pretty cool little creek. Let's yeah. go check that out. Okay. It's hot in there. <laughs> and it doesn't smell so good. <laughs> All right, to the bridge. To the bridge, oh, to the bridge. Well, hopefully next time we come out here, we can stay primitive. This place is cool, man. Yeah. Burtis Creek, it's awesome. It's so nice to be back in the woods again. It really is. like a natural butterfly garden. That was beautiful. Those butterflies and monarchs are amazing. Starting to flock all over the place. Springtime, suckers. Dude, how have we not known about this place before? This place is awesome. Hey, check out that birdhouse. 
I'd say that's more of a bird house. Yeah. That's where they that's where they hang out. I think that's more of a bird mansion. It's a bird pub. Oh. That's where they just pop off for a little drink, maybe a little. They call it the some, six. Some some nuts, you know, keep them thirsty, keep them spending money. Sticks pub. They got feather ball out back. Supposed to be doing a lot of hiking miles today, but this place is so beautiful it's hard not to just stop and snap, snap, snap. Totally appreciate everything that's around us right now. Yeah. Oh, I love nature. This isn't even our camp spot. We just built a fire. I <laughs> so mean, the logs are here. here. Yeah, the logs are here. We just built a fire. We'll put it out. We have lake water. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really a shame that it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I could definitely spend a whole day out here. It's almost worth the rain risk. Sleep in our tent, keep everything secured in the truck, that way nothing gets wet that doesn't need to get wet. I think it would be more fun for them if we did that. <laughs> it would ter be terrible for us, but it would be fun for you. you know, it would be you know, soggy toes, cold in the middle of the night, you gotta get up and pee. 3 a.m. is when the storms are supposed to hit. There's trees, hopefully it's not a lightning storm. If it is, maybe it'll wake us up and we can film it. No promises, that shit's scary. We came to the realization that we're hungry. We could do the entire loop around the lake. It would be dark and we want to be able to show you what we're doing here. So we're going to head on back to camp. Yes. And that entails starting a campfire, cooking scallops, macaroni and cheese, and a few other delightful items. Beaver Slide Nature Path. Yeah, I knocked over the cup, I don't care. We're still gonna probably put some coffee in it. But right now we got some fire to get going, we have some dinner to cook. I've got my wife to hang out with. Come say hi, Melody. Hi, Melody. All right. <laughs> So you still have your shoes on? Oh yeah, I do. It'd be a lot cooler if you didn't. It would be a lot cooler. <laughs> cool little guy. He's very patient. Seemingly very tame. See what he does with that. You're successful, you've made a friend. You now have a pet for the campsite tonight. Yay! No. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we've seemed to come to a split. We've we've seemed we we seemed, we've seemed to we have, seemed to have <laughs> we've come upon we've come upon a split a fork. We've come upon a Let's fork. Let's back up so I can get the fork in the shot. All right. We've come upon a fork in the road. Right here. We've come upon a fork in the road.